The following is a presentation of NEI, the Nuclear Energy Institute. DC Circuit has confirmed that the federal government cannot continue to violate the Nuclear Waste Policy Act. Ever since the Department of Energy unilaterally terminated the Yucca Mountain Repository Program in 2010, the industry has considered the government's continued collection of the Nuclear Waste Fund fee to be unlawful. That's why we and the National Association of Regulatory Utility Commissioners sued the department. The law is clear. The fee collected from consumers of nuclear generation for waste disposal must approximate the cost of the repository project. So, without a disposal program in place, there is no basis upon which to determine whether the fee is correctly set. The D.C. Circuit's unanimous decision is a huge win for consumers and the industry. We are extremely pleased that consumers will no longer pay for the disposal program that DOE abandoned. In a strongly worded decision, the court ordered DOE to reduce the fee to zero until one of two conditions is satisfied. Either DOE complies with the Nuclear Waste Policy Act as written, or Congress must enact an alternative waste management program. The court emphasized that the government's problem of no repository program is of its own making. Unfortunately, this decision, as good as it is, does not address the government's failure to move forward with a viable and sustainable program for used fuel management. Nuclear energy companies are nonetheless doing their part. They are producing the carbon-free electricity that keeps our air clean and helps drive our economy. And they are meeting their obligation to safely store the fuel assemblies that generate this electricity. But the government's obligation to dispose of used nuclear fuel remains clear. Congress and the administration must act to remedy this ongoing government failure. Learn more at NEI.org. Nuclear. Clean air energy.